The vegetation barrier is about planting very large number of plants through the spine of Port Hedland and the West End. Over the number of the years while the plants grow and develop, it will provide a dust barrier between the operations of our business and the community. This significant investment will make a big difference to Pilbara businesses and Indigenous businesses. I worked together with Granting Australia to formulate some of the design together, looked at the plant mixes and then what we think will grow well. We're providing the local supervision as well as some project management. In stage one, we're looking at planting around 80,000 plants and stage two will be another 80,000. Investing this number of plants will make a difference to air quality and we hope that it will mitigate some of the dust, but it will also be about improving the amenity in this area. As an Indigenous person and also for a corporation, we're very involved with the land and the country and we feel responsible as part of our culture to also look after the country. We currently are doing all the propagation and getting the plants ready, which is 5,000 native species from the Pilbara region. When you've got a project this size with maintenance tied into it as well, does it provide more stability in the market? We can get more people on board and fill in some of the gaps in there. BHP's been great with us in supporting us and having discussions with us about environmental projects. BHP is investigating a number of strategies to look at how we can impact dust in the community and this is really one innovative way that we've investigated and are now implementing to make a difference. With the success of the trial plot, you know, if we're visualising what that would look like through the rest of the job, we're all really hopeful and excited to see that take place.